Hey folks, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying our tutorial on how to play craps and this is the seventh installment on our craps um, tutorial and this we're going to talk about the center bets. Um, you're, you're looking pretty much at a Vegas felt so I don't, I don't have the, the East Coast felt here at Atlantic City. Atlantic City is a little bit more detailed. Alright, this is this is the center bets, and this section up here is the hardways. Okay, what the hardways are, just like it's, it looks, this is a hard six. That means this is three and three. It's identical. The dice have to roll a three on one and a three on the other for you to win that bet. The same thing goes for the 10 over here. Dice have to come out like that. Same thing over here. Eight. Hard eight. Okay. And same thing with hard four. Okay. Hard four, the nickname for hard four is Little Joe. Uh, sometimes you might hear that over there, Little Joe. Okay. Basically, you're going to get paid what this says. Now, this is a Vegas felt. It's a little confusing. It says 8 for 1. So, you throw a dollar down here, they're going to give you back 8 with this bet. So, that means you won $7. Okay? These are dollar bets. Everything in the center, you can bet a dollar. These are $1 bets. They're not table minimums. They're dollar bets. You can walk up with ten dollars, say give me ten whites, and they'll give you you can bet the center bets with that. You can start throwing all this this hop this and do all this fancy stuff. Which I'll explain in a minute what that is. Okay. Hard way bets. They act different than the rest of them. Hard way stay on. Okay? Play the hard 10. So there's a spot. Take the first half of this box here, this side of the table. Take this half and this side of the table. Um, but they stay inside the box. They don't go on the line. So you see, you play the hard 10. So that stays there. That will stay there until one of the following things happen the hard 10 rolls. And they pay you. They pay you your money. They pay you seven dollars. Or the seven rolls, the dreaded seven, and your money goes bye byes. Okay. Or ten soft rolls, and what ten soft is is another way to make the ten, the six and the four. It's another way to make the ten. But not hard. So it's called 10 soft. That's the same thing for the six, the, the eight, and the four. You roll it a different way called soft. Okay? So you lose. That rolls, you lose. It's a lot of, there's a lot of ways to lose and not a lot of ways to win. There's only one way to win. You got to roll this. So that's why I pay seven dollars for every one that you got. Um, even though it's saying eight, it says four. So let me explain this again. I'm gonna pet you. That rolls. This is your bet. They're gonna pay you this. Give you your money, but that's eight. That's eight. Okay, so you're you're winning seven bucks. Now here I'm on the East Coast. The Lang City doesn't have that. I'll say seven. And what they'll do is they'll pay the seven out, and they'll just the stick man is in control in control of this center. The stick man is in control of it, which is pretty much where the camera is right now. If you if you were the stick man, you would be looking at this as you're looking at it right now, and he will tell the dealer, "This guy gets seven bucks," and the dealer will pay seven dollars out, and then this bet will stay there. And it's up to you to announce if you want to press it up. Okay, and this stays on until either seven rolls 
or the soft thing happens and you lose. The number rolls soft. This is a 6 4. Here is a 3 1, you know. Same thing with these, a 5 and a 1. It depends on what comes out on these dice. All well, comes out at seven of your, your history. Seven wipes the table off unless you're playing dumb. It's that, it's that simple. It's that simple with the seven. Okay? Let me explain some other bets on here. Um, these are one roll bets down here. Okay? So pretty much your... Your, uh... You're betting what you see. Okay? This is his three. It's also called Ace Deuce. Three crap. Um, so you throw our chip on there. It has to roll. Whatever, whatever rolled. Nope, eight came out. So guess what? I lost. It's a one roll bet. It's one and done. Okay? One and done. Same thing with that. And it's just like it says 30 and 15. Okay, and it stays up. They pay you 14 and it stays up, you know, over here. So, then you have your combination bets. Okay, up here is any seven. This is a one roll bet. So you put a dollar here. There should be on the, on the felt in your casino, it should say any seven. This just says seven. It, you get paid $4 for every one you put up there, so if you win, they pay you 4 even though the odds are 6, 6 ways to make a 7, not 4, the, odd, the odds are 1 out of 6, uh, the odds of a 7 showing are 1 out of 6, every time you roll, roll this dice 6 times, the odds are one of them is going to be a 7, okay, that's, that's, that's the odds, okay, so they got the four here. They pay you four. They don't pay you six. So obviously it's a house of, it's a big house advantage with that, with these center bets. A lot of people don't even tell you to play these, but this is a tutorial on crafts, and I want to explain everything that's on this table. Okay. Any seven that is. Okay. So we learn the hard ways. Any seven, and the straight up bets. Okay, and I want to talk about hot bets. Hot bets are not currently on this table, on this particular felt, where you can't hop a, a hop a number. If you can, if you want to hop a like an eight, and it actually has a little square here, eight soft, and it has the, the particular combination. Say you want to hop um, five, if I can find it, five and say you want to hop that five and three. There'll be a little spot on there, enough to fit this chip on there. And you put put the chip on the 5-3. And with that, that will pay 15. Because it's, you know, it's there's two ways of making it. And ba what, what's going to happen is, that's a one roll bet. So they have to roll 5 and a 3, the next roll of the dice. If not, that's a loser. It's called a hop bet. Okay? You can do that with it. They have all the combinations on the thing. All the combinations of the dice. They're all on there. You can bet them straight up. Okay? That's a hop bet. Okay, let me go down here. It says any craps. Okay, any craps is 2 3 12. That's crap. So they're going to pay you 7 bucks profit. For any crap. Well, a better bet, which is it's called a three-way, three-way craps, and the dealer will come out and do something like this. You hand them three dollars instead of playing one dollar to win seven. You're playing three number. You're playing at the crap number, just. These three here, three, two, and twelve, you're paying them straight up. So a three-way crap is like playing this, okay? Depending on what comes up, that's how you get paid. If these come up to the thirty, and it comes up to the fifteen, okay? But it tends to do something like that. Where he knows, he knows it's a three-way. Um, any crap 
if you just want to play a dollar with any crap, and it will pay that. But it's a one roll bet. Again, it's a one roll bet. They have to roll that. A lot of people play that when they're playing the pass line because you lose on a 2 3 12. So that kind of makes up some money when you, if you throw in um, $2 because one dollar won't cover a ten dollar bet so a lot of people just say F it and we're gonna play the three-way crap which is this so if one of those numbers come up you, you're up money I mean you're up money these two will lose and you get paid what is it twelve dollars something like that and that's how that works for the uh, three-way there's another bet called the world it's either called whirl or world and I've actually saw some felt has a fucking it has a globe on it. Looks like Earth. And it says world. Um basically it's an increment of five dollars. It's a five dollar bet. Basically it's the outside numbers, it's a two, three, eleven, twelve, with the seven. Playing dead center and outside. Now it's a dollar on every number, is what it is, the one roll bet. And the dollar on the seven is the any seven. Okay? So if the seven rolls, you win, what do you win? You win four dollars, like we stated before. You win four. Okay? So, how's that work? You're thinking, well, we have five numbers. One paid for itself because it was a seven. That didn't lose that one. But the other four lost. So you guessed it. It breaks even. You guessed it. The seven, or if you have a world bet up, and seven rolls, nothing happens. That roll never happened. That's right. Nothing happens. Um, there's no world bet on here. We'll, we'll put it there for example. Okay, roll, roll, bet. Seven, roll, nothing happened. So basically, it's a hedge against the seven to win the outside numbers. That's all it is. Okay? Next, we're going to talk about another popular inside bet. It's called the horn. Okay? Horn bet. Horn bet is in increments of four dollars. Okay? Four dollars. And you're playing this, 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 and this. You're playing the outside. 2, 3, 11, 12. Playing outside numbers with this. Okay? One roll bet. One roll bet and you're done. Okay? There's usually a spot on the felt for the horn. I mean, you can go here, you can go here. Um, this is a hard felt to teach on because it's not there. But it's a condensed felt. Like I said before, it's only six feet. And the, the casino, I believe, is double that. And so, you have a horn bet. You're playing, you're playing all these numbers. Playing four numbers. You got a dollar on each. It's the same thing as the world bet, but just those seven. Okay? Easy enough. Now, there's a bet I like to play once in a while. A lot of other people will say. Go throw in a five dollar chip and throw a nickel in and say horn hi yo. Okay, what's that mean? Okay, it's the horn bet, which is one on each. But I said hi yo. No, I'm not talking ebonics. I'm placing a bet. And what that bet does is there's an extra dollar in that chip. So the horn bet's four dollars. It threw a five in. So what's that mean? High on the yo. That extra dollar goes on the yo. And what's the yo? The 11. All craps lingo here. So this is how the bet would break down. Dollar on the 2, dollar on the 3, dollar on the 12, and two dollars on the 11. Okay? You can, you can go high anything. High ace deuce. That tends to be popular on the come out. High 2. Snake eyes. High 12, boxcars. Um, you can do any any type of thing you want. 
and there, there's all the all the bets are broken down on the table. I just don't have that type of felt. But that's pretty much the basic stuff you need to know on the inside. Born world, hot bets, hard ways, any seven, any craps, three way craps, and just straight up betting, one roll bets. That's how you play the inside of the crap table, the, the center bets. They're really high in the casino's favor. Um, the house edge is real high. I don't even recommend using them other than uh, if you like goofing around. Um, a lot of people just like throwing dollars around just because it's cheap. Um, I mean, you can, you can win big on them too. If the numbers start rolling, you can win big. Okay, so there's, there's the, the center bets explained and horn, uh, hard ways and horns and all these other fancy uh, types of bets you can do while you're playing your other bets. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on craps. This pretty much explains all the, all the different types of betting explains the gist of the game and how to get through the game and basically you want to have fun it's a fun game it's, it's very fun um, you, you get to interact with a lot of different people and you know when you're at a, at a um, establishment and uh, it's a lot of fun it is it can be a lot of fun but it has its downfalls too so I am sure you've know you can pick up on it. So this is a tutorial on how to play craps. If you if you don't understand something, drop me a message. Uh, drop it under the comment box, and I, I'll get back to you and and uh, hopefully I can help you out. If you subscribe, um, you can you get different um, upcoming videos on different other of, uh, strategies you can play. I'm going to be posting a bunch of different strategies on um, different ways you can bet. Um, there's there's quite a few of them. Um, everybody says they don't work. They probably don't. I've played a few in my time. Some of them work. Some of them don't. Um, but I look forward to seeing them. But you have to understand the gist of the game, or you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna pick up on it. You're not gonna pick up on it. So make sure you understand the past seven videos and understand how the game works. And I've, hopefully, if you, you you enjoy yourself and feel a lot, hopefully it gives you a lot of fun, a lot of years to come, and hopefully you maybe win some money doing it sometime. Okay, so. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you I hope this educated you some more. I hope you understand the um, the lingo of the game and how it works at a live casino, and it's a lot of fun and it's a lot better than sitting in front of a boring slot machine. That's how I look at it. Okay, thanks for tuning in.